To be honest, it's a mainly Dragon Ball statue collector. I never thought I would have bought some gorgeous, delicate lady statue. Oh, this Nami really doesn't count. The paint job is not elegant at all. My mother visited her friend two years ago and gave me a call right after she saw her bestest son only collecting gross figure. She confused why I only collecting muscle guys. My answer was those dudes give me willpower, blah blah blah. I was not lying. But there is also another reason. It's that girl statues bother me with that level of quality back then. I mean, as a man, you want that female statue as real, as elegant as possible? Don't deny that, guys. But look at this Nami or this boy Hancock. Too plastic and too rough. The material and paint job are not satisfying at all. However, time has passed, technology has improved. Today, I got really hyped for this one. Let's open it up together. This lady is called Hai Qing Yan, aka Ice Princess, which is a main character in Ghost Blade manga. And this is probably the first manga I read after I was attracted to its figure. By the way, it's available on Bilibili manga site. And I was like, this lady is beautiful, let me find out the story behind her. And I was not disappointed. The story is good, the drawing is even more amazing. I would definitely recommend you guys to read it. The only problem is that Velop really takes his time, so I wish we are still alive when he finished that story. Live long and prospering, my friends. Hai Qingyan is not only good looking, but also good hearted. She gave away her most precious jewelry for saving a kid's life. Also, she can talk to animals, just like any princess from Disney. Okay, the end of the background story. If you haven't read it yet, go for it. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. The statue is based on one of the Vlob's drawings. Hai Qingyan is taking a small nap on the couch. From the original paint, we can see she's drawing something, sleep while she's still holding that brush, with Scar standing beside. This statue captured and recreated that moment into real world. The lady is asleep. What a lovely afternoon. The material and the paint job of this statue is amazing. Look at this drape, fluid like silk, like water. And check out the pattern from the bottom up to her chest, flawless I gotta say. Make me think if Jimmy Palace do a better job on their Kizaru, that would be way better. And for the couch, if you don't touch it personally by just looking at it, you will think it is really soft like I did. Still, it is resin, so hard as it sounds. Also, the wood pattern is right on spot. And finally, but not the least for sure, let's check out the princess herself. Gorgeous, perfect, flawless, elegant, those words are just bouncing up to my mind instantly. Back to what I said in the beginning of this video. To be honest, as a mainly Dragon Ball statue collector, I never thought I would have bought some gorgeous, delicate lady statue. This is it, man. This is that kind of female statue I would buy. The design is sexy and beautiful, but not erotic at all, just pure beauty. Secondly, the paint job and material are right on spot. God, I wish I could show you more. The skin got real human skin texture. You can even see the veins underneath. Same thing to the lips and the nose. Also real eyelash. We can see the legs are separated without nasty paint, the drape is fluid, and the socks feel like real socks. I got to say this again, Vlob and InStudio have done this job perfectly together. One providing a nice design, and the other bring this one into 3-dimensional world nicely done. 
Alright, that is pretty much wrap up for this video. As collecting the first Top Gear female statue of mine, I am still excited. By the way, I have pre-ordered more Ghostplay statues from in-studio and other studios too. So stay tuned for more reviews on this channel. You know what I mean. Subscribe. Alright, thanks for your watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.